guys, Brandon Pope from Georgia Wildlife Solutions. Uh, and today, I'm just going to show you how we set up our uh, TSA-5 um, beaver traps uh, as far as the pan tension and how we stop them from rusting away while they're in those creek bottoms. So, uh, hope y'all enjoy. If y'all have any questions, y'all post them down below. I'll try my best to answer anything that y'all have. So what we have here is a TS-85 uh, trap. It's put up by the Katz Brothers. Um, I love these traps. They are uh, great traps. I've never had uh, problems with them. Um, what we do is we take a cable extension and um, an earth anchor. And we, uh, that's how we stake out our traps once we get out to the... To the, to the to the location it's a lightweight um, way that you can get out there and especially if you do any kayak trapping or things like that you want to be lightweight you don't want to have a lot of stuff weighing you down we do reuse those um, take your shovel with you, your trial with you and you can pull those up and normally you can get two or three uses out of the cable as long as the beaver doesn't tr twist up too much now the actual trap itself, um, we take and do about a, a four pound pan tension on these traps. You want it to be kind of stiff. You don't want it to be something that's too um, light because you really want to take and catch that, that beaver on his back leg. You want to have that hind leg catch. Um, so we try for a a four pound pan tension on these traps. So once you have your trap out, you're going to want to buy you a, a tester. You can make um, these yourself. This one uh, we picked up at a trapper, trapper's convention a few years ago. And uh, we've used it <laughs> for probably 200, 300 traps um, multiple times. Each mark is going to represent a pound of pressure. And I've kind of souped this one up a little bit because these these TS-85s do pack a little more of a wallet than a little you know, Duke number two. So you want to make sure that your pan is kind of level once you've set it and you've got if you can see right there, these are dogless. Um, TS-85s are dogless traps. They're also just single cold. Um, but you want your trap pan to be kind of level. See how that's level with the jaws there? You don't have a lot of a lot of play, a lot of travel in the pan. Um, also, I think that you have less chance of the beaver getting their foot caught up underneath that pan when they're coming in because we set our traps like this with the jaws this way so they're, the beaver would come in and put their foot down like that so we're going to take a look right quick Alright, so I just went all the way down. So that's a little over five pounds, <clears throat> which isn't bad. Um, but I do like mine to be closer to four. So I'm going to take, and back here on the back part, you see these two bolts right here, this bolt right here in the nut. And you just take and loosen and tighten that nut in order to get the correct tension that you're looking for. So I'm going to loosen mine up a little bit. It won't take very much. Alright. Once you've loosened it up a little bit, you try it again. So let's see what we get this time with it. One, two, three, four. So we're going to loosen up a little bit more. Alright. 
and right there when I got that four mark that's when the trap snapped and that is exactly what I'm looking for it gives the beaver enough commitment to the trap that I know I'm going to get it but it also isn't too stiff as far as preparing the traps for the different um, things they'll face in the in the water um, most of the time I've had more trouble keeping traps uh, uncorroded in things like creeks and, and it really just depends on what minerals are in those creeks uh, different people do different stuff some people let them just rust some people dip dye some people wax I've kind of found that I like to use um, rust protector black paint and this Krylon that dries in eight minutes works really well because you can touch up traps on the road and you don't have to come back to the house and dip them uh, and it does last for a fair amount of time I've used cheaper paints uh, this is about four dollars a can at Walmart um, but uh, cheaper paints tend to kind of fade away quicker and so what you do is you just take and I've put a little piece of black tape I don't know if you can see it but I put a piece of black tape right there because I don't want a lot of paint over my where my um, trap pan and my jaw are going to meet so I'm just going to take and just give it a nice coat of black paint Nothing fancy. This isn't anything that uh, Van Gogh would have done by any means. But it just gives it a little protective layer. Such so a trap doesn't rust away. It keeps everything with a nice little protective layer so that your pan doesn't slow down from rust. Your jaws close just as fast today as they will tomorrow and the day after and the week after. Just consistency, consistency, consistency. So once you've got a little layer like that, you can do these multiple traps at the time. And like I said, this paint dries in about eight minutes. So that really does make an impact um, as far as being able to take the traps and go out the next day Brandon what about the smell well the good news about these traps is they're going to go in the water and there's no smell that's going to affect you trapping the beaver if you take it out of your trap bag and you go ahead and just put it in the water uh, the paint smell is not going to affect the beaver we've taken them out the very next day and um, we've had plenty of luck with them so one more time, God bless. Hope you all enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know.